Hello and welcome back once again to Product Placement. So we finished up most of the drinks and most of the candy bars that I had in stock uh, as far as catching up over the last couple of years. But there was a couple other items I found that I still want to go over. Something outside of that range, but still within my normal range. Um, I really need to find new products. I can't just keep doing Mountain Dews and candy bars and today's products. I really need to like expand but I don't know what else to do without getting into gross territory, and I don't do well with gross. Anyway, today's item, I've seen this one a while ago, uh, not sure, I have two of this type of product, I'm going to do them as separate videos, but I'm not sure which order they actually came out in. Um, I believe this one that I'm going to do first is the one that came out first, but I could be wrong. But they're both still available, so I'm going to do them, and... Hopefully they're still around if you guys want to try them because I'm not sure exactly when they came out or if these are limited edition or how long they're supposed to be around, but I'm going to do them anyway. So these are back to our old friends at Oreos because they're the only other people that come out with new flavors of things regularly. Today's items are Java chip flavored Oreos. So like I said, I saw these a while back, wasn't sure if I was going to get around to doing them or not but i'm going to anyway uh hopefully i haven't already done these ones i don't think i did but because they got a picture of ice cream on the cover which I, makes me think i didn't do these but java chip sounds familiar but i have to go back through all my videos where i have done oreos and figure out which ones i've done and which ones i haven't uh, which i'll get into in the next video uh, but we're going to try these ones out today and see what we think about them. So let's use the easy peel package here to open these up. And there's that. I'm going to pull one out of the center here. There you see it. I don't know how well you can see it. Not your normal cream filling there. It's a slightly darker and has little specks of chocolate in it. So I'm going to guess it's coffee flavored in some way. Considering this is Java chip. So let's give it the old smell test and see what we think. It smells like Java chip, definitely. Um, if you ever had a Java chip Frappuccino from Starbucks, uh, those actually don't smell as strong as, if you smell the straight Java chips, it does, but if you're smelling like the Frappuccino, like after it's made, it's a little bit more smooth because it has the milk and uh, cream bases and things like that all mixed into it so that kind of cuts the overall scent of the java chips but um, just the straight java chips smell like these cookies and this one's coming apart all right so definitely smells like java chip uh, is it going to taste good or is it going to taste gross i don't know i like java chip frappuccinos but uh, this is probably going to taste a bit more like just eating the java chips so hopefully i like it i don't know we'll see right anyway Let's get this started. Cheers. So the one thing I kind of don't like about doing Oreos and why I'm hesitant to do videos on Oreos after a while is because they just take so long to chew up the cookie and get everything incorporated to actually get a feel for the flavor of it. And a lot of times the cookie just masks the overall flavor. And no matter what the additional flavor is, it still is just tastes like an Oreo to me. And that's sort of what's happening here. I start chewing it, and all I get is the chocolate cookie of the Oreo, crushing it up, mixing it all in with everything. And then once it's finally, after nearly a minute of crunching all this up, the filling finally starts to hit my tongue and get mixed in. And I'm like, okay, I can kind of taste the Java chip. That could be beneficial and also a hindrance to this one. Uh, beneficial in the fact that, like I said, with the Java chip Frappuccino, it's not just straight Java chip. You're mixing it with milk and other things like that to blend it out and make it less impactful of a flavor. So the chocolate cookie kind of does the same thing. You just taste the Oreo cookie and then you're like, oh, there's a hint of Java chip there. It is still stronger than what it would be in a Frappuccino, but it's not like overwhelming like if you just took a handful of Java chips and threw them in your mouth. I do want to try just the cream on its own, so we're going to do that real quick. Honestly, that's better than with the Oreos. The soft creaminess of the filling 
blends real well with the java chips that are in it and actually make it taste more like what you would think of a, with a java chip frappuccino. Uh, I know they do show java chip ice cream on the label here, but I've never had java chip ice cream. So I only have the frappuccinos to relate it to. Um, I don't know if they actually infuse the cookie itself with anything. Let's find out. It definitely has a smell that they infuse the chocolate with uh, Java chip as well. Like just holding it in my hand, I can still smell the Java chip on it. But overall, the cookie is just the cookie. At least I think so. I still got the Java chip flavor from the cream in my mouth. So I might just be masking what's in the cookie with what I just had from the cream. But overall, yeah, uh, if you like Java chips, you'll probably like these. If you like Java chip flavored things like ice cream or Frappuccino or whatever, you'll probably like these. Uh, like I said, the cookie does kind of overpower it a bit, but there is enough of the additional flavor compared to just eating a normal Oreo with the plain white filling. So if you like Java chip flavored things, check them out. They might be your thing. Uh, if not, stick to regular Oreos if you like Oreos or if you're just somebody who doesn't like Oreos, why are you watching this video? There's plenty of other videos of me trying different things that you could be watching instead. All right, so I'm going to set that last piece of cookie aside for the end here because we got to do this the right way with a full cookie. But that's going to be it for this episode. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Links are in the description. Ring the bell. Make sure you get notifications every time I post new content. Until next time, cheers.